This is a case of preperitoneal repair of an umbilical hernia with divarication using the ETEP approach. You can see in the visuals, the ETEP port is taken, the stopa plane is dissected, three ports are inserted in the stopa plane. Here I have dissected the stopa plane, put in the left hand port when I am looking cranially and this is optical port. Once the camera is turned inferiorly you can see this particular patient had a type 3 of arcuate line. So I have created a new arcuate here. You can see I have picked up the transversal fascia using the hook and now you can see the shiny PRS superiorly and the peritoneum and the transversal fascia complex going down. Carbon dioxide is a friend here. It allows us to dissect the space and the fibrous bands which are seen in between can be picked up with the hook and the dissection then proceeds very easily in this plane. So fiber by fiber you can pick up the transversal fascia. Here I am dissecting on the right PRS. You can push the PRS superiorly. You can pick up the fibrous layers. You can see the transversal fascia here. I am picking it up, seeing the shiny PRS superiorly and then dissecting the peritoneum as well as transversal fascia away from the PRS. So one should not be putting pressure on the peritoneum with the hook. Instead, one can push the PRS away and then pick up the fibrous bands. Once you get sufficient length of instrument going inside, there is less fear of the instrument making a rent in the peritoneum. Wherever there is red area, you can safely assume that you have miss the plane of transversal fascia so you can take the hook take the transversal fascia down and then the dissection becomes much more easier and much more faster as i have said the carbon dioxide is a friend here it allows us to push the peritoneum down and this is the trident fatty trident which miguel garcia has so elegantly described if the peritoneum is very thin, you have to make sure that you take only the fibrous band in the midline, having dissected laterally, you can then proceed to taking down the fatty trident on either side and then take the umbilical ligaments on either side. However, what are the contents of the sac that we still don't know? So what I did in this particular case was used a small rent in the peritoneum, put in the telescope inside, have a look at the content which was momentum and hence I could proceed boldly by taking the sac down in toto without making a rent in the peritoneum here. However, even if there are few rents which I have made in this particular case, we will go ahead and suture them at the end of the surgery. So here the peritoneum has become very thin and one has to be really very careful. So use the fatty trident, push the peritoneum down in the midline and then the transversus fascia with the PRS can be taken down laterally. So here you can see even if you take small part of PRS it is okay as long as you don't make a rent in the peritoneum because it may become very difficult to suture it if it is located if the rent is located too high up. Here Inadvertently, I have made a small rent in the PRS on the right side, but that should not matter. And here you can see the transfer fascia which has creeped onto the PRS. I am taking it down. So you can now see the shiny PRS and that makes the dissection much more easier between the peritoneum and the PRS. Use the fatty trident. Superiorly, you have the falciform ligament which can be dissected away easily. You can also see the wide divarication here, almost 3.5 to 4 centimeters wide divarication. So all that you have to do is then further gently push the PRS up and the peritoneum down 
and now is the time to suture the small rents. So you can suture them using, if it's a large defect, use a figure of eight suture using two zero micril or you can use PDS for this. But one has to make sure that all these small rents are closed well so that the PP mesh is not exposed to the intestine. Having done that, you can then take a barb suture, suture the defect and if the thighs are rubbing against your needle holder, what you can do is you can push the abdominal wall down so that the driving of needle becomes much more easier. So that is the trick that I am using here. I am pushing the abdominal wall down so that my needle holder need not have to go low onto the thigh. So you can correct the defect as well as the divergation and put in a PP mesh. Thank you so much for watching.